I'm wearing Gaurav Gupta. And I'm wearing uh, Lubato shoes. And Zenia Sandra. Yes, uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm really excited just to be part of such an eventful and fun night. Uh, it's very exciting. I've uh, grown up being a consumer. And uh, today I get to be part of a fantastic party. It's a lot of fun. Sorry? Do I believe in what? It's very nice to be uh, told uh, that you're doing a good job with whatever it is you're doing. It's uh, gratification to uh, continue working hard and enjoy yourself. If you're getting an award, that means somewhere someone is appreciating your work, and that's always a good thing. Man of the year in Bollywood. There's only one man for every year, Salman Khan. I'm just, uh, you know, I've just come in from LA. I'm very jet lagged. So I'm looking forward to a nice, pleasant evening and meeting my friends. All of them are here. I don't. <laughs> huh? I am part of this because they are my friends. I know a great evening as always. Beautiful people, beautiful words. Perhaps some entertainment at some level. Well, life is not always very, very fair. It doesn't have to be. But award functions are nice. They, they are an event. And uh, it feels good if you appreciate it with an award. Right. I I have to do video bites for everyone. Unka behind the scenes, unka GQ exclusive, online exclusive, I don't know where to go. I've lost track of which camera I'm talking to. Uh, tonight, my clothes are by Xenia. Achha? They mean, they're going to take it out. I saw the first time in DDLJ. I saw the picture in the trial show. Uh, before release. I remember uh, Amir Mamu and I had gone together. Uh, Adi Chopra had invited my, my family to watch the film. And I had to watch it and I was very excited. I was very excited to watch the film. And I remember watching the film and thinking at that point that it's such a cool uh, modern film. Because the first half of it was that was set in London and it was Shah Rukh was playing a very different kind of hero, very different uh, you know, kind of cool young guy who you could identify with. And I, I remember just saying how cool and how current the film is, how it just kind of taps into that that youth culture at that point. That's very very deadly. the best dressed guy. I'm an Indian man, I want to support Narendra Modi. Why not? Yeah? I think it's Modi. Yeah. I'm wearing Richard James. What do you want me to do, baby? Yes, tell me. I already did that. <laughs> That's been done. <laughs> See, my brother is here with me because he is my style guru. So all the fashion uh, they hits and misses. They look many designs. <laughs> <laughs> they all belong to him. So, uh, men fashion and female fashion. 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 Any day, any day. You just have to you wear black. You can have the same black suit and you can repeat it for years. Girls can't do that. You, know, you guys a, start writing about it's, it. It's such a pain being a girl because there's so many looks. There's Indian, there's Western. There's so, the guys have to wear black and they look great. Do I believe in award function? I'm at one. So yeah, I mean, I think it's always nice to know that your work is being appreciated, for sure. I think they should have the uh, contest right there at Madison uh, Garden, you know. I think uh, we'll be contest chali while we're talking. So we will get to know by the time uh, this is going to get Narendra Modi. I don't know who deserves it actually. I think it's a man who probably embodies style, fashion and at the same time is not really pretentious. So 
whoever wins I'm sure it would be something like that. Very DDLJ memory of mine. I think uh, the first time I remember seeing DDLJ was with my entire family. And I think before watching DDLJ, I wasn't so uh, aware of films like having that big an effect on me at that time. So that whole Rahul phase of wearing the jacket and the hair and the hat and that cowbell ka ghanti. I remember I would go Switzerland during that time. That really moved me. But obviously I didn't try to behave like that with any women. I was very uh, decent. But uh, I think a DDLJ moment I think would be that when I was in Switzerland and I saw a cow with that ghanti and I went and touched it. Hey, hey, Sunil. Why are they so much? It's a little, little bit. It's a lot of fun. I love Shao. I'm going Gucci. And why bow ties? Because I don't know. I love bow ties. I have a good collection of bow ties, and I love wearing bow ties. This is the first time I'm wearing a bow tie which goes with the suit. I think otherwise I prefer color blocking. I wear bows which are slightly different in color. But this time I'm just I've chosen the classic look. I think definitely Narendra Modi makes a better style statement. Uh, he experiments with his jackets and uh, the whole look. But Barack Obama is plain. He's vanilla. I think the guy is very stylish. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's just the poise she 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 has, and uh, I think she's very talented. Talent talent also makes you very stylish. Yeah. him with Man of the Year, I'll take him back home. So I haven't found him yet. Um, but um, I think the GQ Man of the Year award 
Men of the Year awards are really amazing because, uh, I mean, they're my favorite awards, absolutely. And uh, to be a part of them and actually be receiving as a woman, um, now for me, I've had a few GQ awards and it's, it's always special. Do you personally believe in award functions? Um, don't you like being encouraged when you work when you work hard for something you like being encouraged and I think there's nothing absolutely wrong with that sometimes it's uh, you feel that it's right sometimes you feel that it's wrong but um, I think uh, awards are a great way of uh, encouraging people who work really hard to entertain um, to me a man should wear his uh, sexuality or his success or his Sexiness. A man should wear his sexiness like a t-shirt, not a tuxedo. Oh, the theme is uh, rock and roll with the Indian soul. So this is my rock and roll and that's the Indian soul. And, uh, Thank you guys. Uh, Madonna. Always Madonna. My rock and roll? Pose. My rock Any and roll? Pose. Can I give you a guitar? <laughs> no, I've, I've always posed with guitars but I don't know how to play it. Uh, but my rock and roll pose has always been there. Thank you. Thank you.